Oh, I forgot to say this, and this is actually quite quite crucial. You will probably not do these things one by one if you're going to implement them. So what um, the people that if you use a self-attention layer in PyTorch or TensorFlow or JAX, the whole thing will be basically be vectorized and you will stack as much as you can into um, matrix form in order to calculate these things efficiently on a GPU. Let me quickly just say this again. Um, the very cool thing about this is that all of these computations for your different Ys can be performed in parallel. And that's really, really cool. Okay, So that solves the computational problem that um, we have with RNNs. Um, how you would actually do this in PyTorch, TensorFlow, or JAX is you would actually um, basically try and stack as much of this stuff into a matrices so that you don't have to deal with individual vectors. Um, so I'll post the notes and the link and you can look at that but very quickly to um, basically show you how it would look in matrix form is you would have the case where each of your T queries need to be compared to each of the T keys at each of the positions. You know, you're going from um, T1 up to capital T and each of the queries in each of these positions needs to be compared to each of the keys in each of the positions. And you can actually do that quite efficiently all by just stacking all of your queries and all of your keys into a very big matrix. Okay, So you have a matrix uh, of queries where you have basically stacked the queries along um, the rows and the columns are then the dimensionality of your queries, similarly with the keys. And if you do this, then all of the dot products, the T by T dot products that you need to calculate, you can do that by just calculating. Um, you take the matrix Q, multiply that with the transpose of the matrix K, and then you scale that with the dimensionality, and that actually gives you all of the dot products in one go. The cool thing is you can push that through a softmax layer and then just multiply that with V and that actually gives you the output of, of an attention block just immediately um, by just doing this, this matrix calculation. And actually this form, that really holds in general um, if you have queries, keys, and values, not just for self-attention, right? For any attention block where you have a set of um, queries, a set of keys, and a set of values, you can just basically perform the whole attention block with just one line of Python or one line of um, PyTorch if, you've, if someone has implemented Softmax for you. Okay, that's amazing. And it really illustrates that you can do this stuff in parallel, for instance, on a GPU. GPUs love uh, matrices, so you can just boom, push it through a GPU. In self-attention in particular, what's really nice is if I've got that sequence, that input sequence of x1, x2, dun, 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 xt, if I stack all of my um, input vectors along the rows in one big design matrix x, so you have a, a x1, it's really a transpose of x1, transpose of x2, dun, 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 up to the transpose of x capital T, transpose, and you stack all of that into one big matrix, often called the design matrix X, then what you can do is you can calculate all the queries by just taking, um, by just multiplying your design matrix with your query matrix. You can calculate all the keys by just multiplying the design matrix with the query, uh, with the key matrix, all the value um, vectors, multiplying the design matrix with the value matrix, you can do all of that directly in matrix form. Okay, and if you're using self-attention, then you can just take all of these and plug that into this equation here. Then you've implemented um, self-attention in one, two, three, four lines of um, Python code. You can step through this a little bit more carefully if you um, go through this in the notes and make it your own. You can also quite easily figure out the shapes of, of these matrices so that everything actually works out. Um, just remember that the queries and the keys, the individual vectors, need to have the same dimensionality, which I normally denote as DK. Amazing. So we can run self-attention very efficiently on GPUs when we use um, something like this matrix form.